Today's broadcast is being brought to you by Judge Joe Brown's Barbecue Sauce. Pick yours up today by going to www.jjbbq.com. Again, www.jjbbq.com. For all your barbecue needs. And for all things Papa Duck Apparel, you may visit his website, which is located in my description for t shirts, hoodies, hats, all things Papa Duck merchandise. Welcome back to my channel. And this broadcast is entitled Pain at the Pump U.S. Diesel Shortage. According to a new story posted out of Washington, D.C., Fox Channel 5. U.S. diesel supplier warns businesses to prepare for shortages and higher prices for consumers. And as you can see by my first slide, and if you are unable to view the slide, I will read it for you. And if you catch the replay at your own leisure, you may read the slides for yourself. Slide number one, the diesel market is in a perfect storm as price surge, supply dwindles ahead of winter. Now, if you've caught any of the lives with King BJ Johnson and myself, we discussed this briefly and it has come to pass as this was just posted an hour ago, but it's been in the works since earlier this year. The important thing in our live was winter. And when I speak on a lot of my broadcast, I hone in on certain buzzwords. So the buzzword for this particular broadcast is a cold winter. So again, the diesel market is in a perfect storm as prices surge, supply dwindles ahead of winter. Next, diesel reserves have not been this low since 1951. So keep in mind, there's always a reserve and we are not truly, in my opinion, privy to how much reserve there is. But according to the report, again, from Fox 5, Washington, DC, it says, Diesel reserves have not been this low since 1951 and a ban on Russian products set for next year will intensify competition for the fuel. The Department of Homeland Security tells CNBC 
that Jones Act waivers required for foreign tankers are reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Again, diesel reserves have not been this low, according to this report, since 1951, and a ban on Russian products set for next year will intensify competition for the fuel. Lastly, the Department of Homeland Security tells CNBSC that Jones Act waivers required for foreign tankers are reviewed. This is the imperative sentence. The waivers required for foreign tankers are reviewed on a case by case basis. Lastly, for the slides, diesel prices have increased 33% for November deliveries and are expected to go higher. Today is November the 1st. Diesel prices have increased 33% for November deliveries and are expected to go higher. Diesel supply in the Northeast, the drought stricken Mississippi River and a potential buzzword number two, potential rail strike are contributing to higher fuel demands with calls for federal government intervention to increase supply. And this is just a review of what has been reported. Diesel reserves have not been this low since 1951. So what does that mean? Well, in short, for companies, they'll have supply, but it's going to hurt the consumers at the pump. On a normal day, according to Fox 5, Washington DC report, the East Coast markets have 50 million barrels in storage. But right now, there are less than 25 million barrels available. Subsequently, this tight diesel supply, if you will, will force prices to go up, which will eventually, another buzzword, eventually, you may as well replace it with inevitably, will make it too expensive for some people. The company said in a press release on Monday, high prices will bring demand back down enough that it balances with limited supply. Warnings have also gone out that the U.S. economy level consumers may feel pain at the pump, as I just mentioned earlier, but for businesses that rely on diesel operations, supply will still be available. So again, we may be absolutely facing pain at the pump again with a U.S. shortage. Are you prepared? Thank you again for tuning in to this broadcast. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And all of the information from this story can be found on my links. Be safe, be well, and be healthier.